Kristen Zhivago here. I'd like to talk to you about the types of companies we like to work for and what we do for them. First of all, we tend to focus on established companies who uh, are that are run by smart people, which most established companies are. They have good people working for them. They have a solid product or service and they take good care of their customers. Those are the best companies for us. Now you would say, well, then if they're so great, why do they need you? Well, the answer is there's a lot of established companies out there run by people who are super smart, but the digital marketing side of things has just not been easy for them to manage and they're frustrated. Maybe they have a vendor who's not really giving them what they need. Maybe they haven't been satisfied with the number of leads that they're getting or the quality of leads they're getting. Maybe they're unsure how all this works and the vendors aren't helping them understand how it works. We try to turn that whole thing around and we do. What I've put together here is a team of really nice, professional, talented people who work well together under the umbrella of all the systems and processes that we've put in place. Now, when it comes to business, I'm a great believer in two things, <laughs> love and logistics. And when I say love, I don't mean touchy-feely kind of stuff. I mean, we take care of the people that work for us and we take care of our clients. What I've created here with the help of my wonderful team is a safe place for nice people to work. So there's no backstabbing, there's no diva or jerk behavior. Jerks and divas just make life harder for everybody else. Nobody on our team makes things harder for anyone else. We all help each other do our best work every day. And I'm part of that. Yes, I'm the boss, but I believe in servant leadership. I believe that my job is to help them do their best work every day. So that's what we do, all of us. And I also have learned as a revenue coach, spending decades turning around sales and marketing departments for companies of all sizes, including IBM, Dow Jones, is you can't really provide a good product or a good service without good logistics. And that starts with your policies. What is it that's driving you every day? What's your agenda? My agenda is to help my clients get good qualified leads. That's it. That's our agenda. And help them nurture those leads, turn them into sales. Of course, we do that work as well because I have a background in both marketing and sales. That's our focus, that's what we do. But logistics make it work. So the first thing I did when I started this company was hire a, an infrastructure manager who was also an app whisperer because I knew I was going to run this business on the cloud. I've been in tech for decades. I knew what, where we needed to be. And that's what we've done. We've built an infrastructure that uses the best clear cut, no nonsense, don't get in your way apps to run the business. We use a product called Avaza, by the way, if you're ever looking for a good project management slash quoting slash invoicing system, it's unbelievable. It's fantastic. Makes it very easy to just do your work without getting hung up. So we have a whole number of apps. We have processes, documentation. We help each other. We, we document how we do things so that a new person can come on board and, and get right to work. We have the kinds of meetings that make it easy to just do what we have to do, go through everything that needs to be taken care of so nothing falls through the cracks. That's how we service our clients and that's why they can depend on us. Another reason they can depend on us is I am completely honest about everything 
even if it's tough, even if we make a mistake or we misunderstood something or whatever, even if it's our fault, I never hide from the truth. My husband used to say, find it, face it, fix it. And that's what we do every day. The truth is what drives this business. And the truth is the numbers, the results, the way we take care of people, how quickly we respond if there's a problem. I work pretty much 24 seven, except when I'm out of my boat sailing or sleeping. But other than that, I'm here for these clients. I have been a business owner, believe it or not, since 1979. I've been around a long time. And I know I've worked with hundreds of CEOs and entrepreneurs, and I've interviewed thousands of their customers. I know how customers buy. I know how CEOs struggle to get the right customers and and follow up and build sales and marketing departments and so on. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve, things that I've learned from all this work I know when somebody's just cruising for a bruising and they're just about to be making a big mistake. And I can say, again, because I'm not afraid of the truth, I'm just, well, you know what? If you do that, this might happen. This could easily happen. And they go, oh, okay, well, okay, let's talk about that. It's a partnership. I work in partnership every single day with this incredible team of professionals who are very good at what they do. And we all work together with our clients every single day in an environment of mutual respect and helpfulness. The results speak for themselves. We're constantly having to update our our proof of performance uh, numbers because it, it works. This 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 digital marketing is not a mystery. There's no magic bean. You just have to do certain things a certain way and do it right and consistently. Your customers have to know you care about them. That's what the love thing is all about. It's about taking care of people. So that's what we do all day. And I've had clients that have stayed with me even as I transformed myself from an agency to a revenue coach to now running this company the last four or five years. It's been great. I really enjoy it. It's very satisfying to help somebody grow their business. When one of my clients, our clients came to us and They were having trouble with cash flow because they weren't making enough sales. And now he has the opposite problem. Now he's got so many sales that he's being very careful about who he takes on. He's been able to build up the reliability of his business. So he has backup. He he sells liquid nitrogen for a living and um, is building the company. He's got backup drivers, backup trucks, backup suppliers so that he can be the reliable one and he's in a market where the his competitors are not reliable. And when you're using liquid nitrogen to um, freeze cells that you've been doing research on for the last 20 years, <laughs> you don't want your liquid nitrogen to go out on you. Now, he's a really good example of someone I call a thirsty horse because every single thing that we've talked about, he's he's done wonderful hiring. He's changed how he hires people. He really understood the whole concept of taking care of people. and He's doing it and it's working for him. I mean, we're talking hockey stick growth. I have another client that changed from having salespeople on a quota to having customer service people interact with customers and answer their questions and help them out and make it easy for them to make a buying decision. And he's also on a hockey stick projection. This is what gets us up in the morning. This is what we love to do. If you're one of those people that has a good company and good products and you're frustrated by your digital marketing, you probably ought to talk to us because we can probably help. Thanks. 